Well, good morning, good afternoon, um, whatever other time zone you may be in. Welcome to the SWAG Clinical Trials Partnerships or SWAG CTP, um, as I'll be using the abbreviation. This is our second update forum since we uh, reconfigured our efforts in collaboration with industry into the clinical, tri clinical trials partnership program. I'm Kathy Albane, uh, SWAG's vice chair uh, for clinical trials partnerships, and I am professor of medicine in the division of hematology oncology um, at Loyal University Chicago Stritch School of Medicine, Cardinal Bernardine Cancer Center. And it's been a real privilege to um, direct this effort uh, and I acknowledge um, the very able co-partners that I have in Casey Dawson and Crystal Miwa, shown here on the screen. Uh, Casey is Director of Administration for SWAG CTP, based in the group chair's office, SWAG Cancer Research Network uh, at OHSU Knight Cancer Institute, and Crystal Miwa, um, Clinical Trials Project Manager for SWAG CTP in the SWAG Operations Office in San Antonio. I just want to remind you again that we're being recorded. And also, um, as, you, as I go along, I'm going to go through the presentation. And then we'll have plenty of time for open discussion. So please send in your questions by chat. And then we will get to as many as possible uh, as we complete our hour together. Next slide, please. So our agenda for today is shown here. First, there'll be, for some of you, a little bit of a review and others that are new to SWAG CTP, an overview of our program, and in particular highlight what is unique to SWAG, a preferred partnerships program or PPP within CTP. I'll discuss in brief how CTP and the SWAG uh, committees uh, and our industry partners uh, develop uh, our various uh, projects together, uh, review CTP's growing trial menu, uh, say a few words about some exciting uh, information on uh, infrastructure and especially our new e-research platform. And at the end, um, happily take you quickly through our new website, which has just launched and which you can reach uh, as we speak now uh, with that link, which is at the very bottom of the initial page uh, of your group meeting uh, web link. Uh, next slide, please. So on this slide, I think this is important to start here because it, it can get a bit confusing. Um, so, so I'd like to clarify uh, how, how we work. SWAG Clinical Trials Partnerships uh, overarching uh, deals with all of our trials that um, have industry collaborations of any type. So on the left, uh, federally funded SWAG trials um, keep going as it's been successful for many years where SWAG CTP is involved in obtaining and distributing industry funding, drug costs, other support for trials that are funded uh, by the NCI. That is not part of my purview or our um, discussions today, uh, but Casey Dawson and her team have, have worked on this for years and successfully so. However, what we're going to talk about are SWAG CTP run trials that are 100% industry supported. These are rigorous and scientifically relevant projects. Now we can still do single SWAG committee initiated studies that are fully funded by industry. These were previously done in SWAG under the CTI or Clinical Trials Initiative Program within the HOPE Foundation. These trials can still be done under CTP, but they're not one-off trials, so to speak, not like an IIT that you might initiate uh, through your institution or a, a consortium of of a network of yours, for example, uh, with industry. These are intended to evolve into uh, a broadened collaboration with other agents and designs, but we're starting out with a particular company uh, in this regard is a single uh, uh, trial. 
What we're focusing on though, again, and what is new to SWAG is the Preferred Partnerships Program. This is a new mechanism. Um, it can involve access to a company's pipeline or part of a pipeline, or can involve complex multi-arm platforms within a single uh, disease site. But here there's joint scientific development and governance from the beginning of the collaboration, utilizing a dedicated infrastructure, which um, I will show you. And specifically important here, there is no overlap or competition with any active federally funded study that we are aware of, either within our group or within uh, the NCTN. Next slide. So SWAC CTP establishes and administers scientific preferred partnerships between SWAG and industry. And this is a mechanism whereby our cancer and research ne network of over a thousand member institutions collaborates directly with industry as a preferred research partner. Develop platforms uh, of mutual interest ranging from phase 1B, 1B2, randomized two, three, and even a registration option if uh, the studies are successful. Um, SWAG CTP uh, process facilitates rapid testing of new agents, including combinations of new agents across disease sites. So it's disease agnostic potentially, or broadly within a disease. And all of this flows through dedicated SWAG CTP channels that you're really familiar with in NCTN study development. So that's from study design, review, approval, development, contracting, and there's concurrent joint industry collaboration. And this whole process taps the same excellent operations statistics and data management um, expertise in our group and that we use in NCI funded studies, but the personnel are working for SWAG CTP with SWAG CTP using non-federal dollars. Next slide. So this is just a very simple cartoon and then I'll show you the more complex version coming up. But as I said, there's joint study design and conduct with SWAG committees and industry partners and overlapping in time, scientific and clinical, budgets and contracts, and protocol development and study build. Next. So here it is um, in great detail, which I'm not going to go through. I just show it to point out the parallel processes again, on top the pharma collaborator, uh, then scientific clinical statistical in purple, budget in blue, contracting in green and electronic data capture and study build in yellow and how they interact with each other. And the point I'm making here with the red arrows is that instead of these studies, as they have developed, the capsule's been formed jointly, uh, the company has seen the capsule, uh, instead of going to a steering committee then, which it would do, it would go to a, the CTP Executive Scientific Review Committee for approval of the capsule and then go along the process. You're familiar with the rapid review. Those of you who have worked with SWAG protocols, we use a similar process with CTP and then go on to the protocol review uh, committee at the Statistics and Data Management Center. And then the second red arrow, uh, when the protocol's done, it will then go back to the executive review committee as it would go back to the NCTN uh, steering committee review and then on to IRB and FDA approval as necessary. Next slide. Just a couple slides on CTP's infrastructure in e-research platform and how sites will be notified. Um, they will be notified, all of our sites. That's the point I want to make. Uh, you'll be uh, advised of the process when we're ready to get going with our first project. This will be close to activation in order for you to uh, meet with your uh, site um, uh, protocol review committees and determine interest and your accrual potential to the particular project. 
We will then ask you uh, if you're interested to complete a very brief feasibility questionnaire and sites will be selected who meet uh, the accrual goals for the project and have the expertise at their site to conduct the project. The WCG IRB, formerly known as the Western IRB, or still known as, um, will be the central IRB for all CTP studies. And then uh, what is just um, newly announced, uh, I believe a press release is coming out or did come out, we now have a comprehensive e-research platform for all CTP initiatives. Next slide. So first, Metadata RAID will continue to be uh, our electronic data capture platform just as we use in our NCTN studies. But exciting news is that new uh, to CTP, there will be an integrated clinical trial management system as well as an electronic trial master file through Velos and Florence. These two tools collectively will streamline our site communications, startup efforts, house our study documents, assist in management of investigator site files, regulatory requirements, as well as be used for monitoring and auditing. And I thank Casey Dawson and her entire team, Nathan Erickson and others who worked, and Dana Sparks who worked uh, many hours and many conference web calls to get this in place. So uh, that's an exciting new development for us. Next slide. Okay, going on to SWAG CTP platform designs in development. So remember that um, schema slide at the beginning, these will be uh, for our, our valued partners who are coming on board, um, not just to do a single one-off type of trial, but to work with us in platform designs. Um, the caveat I have here, unfortunately, for this open session, is that I am still unable to reveal compounds um, that are not on market, details of designs, sometimes even naming the company in this open session, as well as other full committee meetings uh, at this meeting, per the request of most of our active collaborators until all the agreements and contracts are properly signed, sealed, and delivered. I'll do the best I can though to uh, show you what we're doing and hope you share uh, our excitement in how much progress we've made since the last group meeting. Next slide. So this slide shows on the left the active uh, industry partner collaborations that we have in, going right now. Um, these studies are already moving along and I'll be able to show them somewhat generically where I can in the next few slides. In the first leukemia, MDS, MPN, MDS overlap, and CMML, breast cancer, bladder cancer, non-small cell lung cancer, head and neck squamous, and cutaneous squamous. These trials are all plat uh, pipeline platform or subtype um, uh, platform designs, uh, which uh, are very exciting complicated studies, uh, but still extremely exciting. And I am permitted to show one of them to you in the schema, so we'll come to that next. <clears throat> Pending industry collaborations are ongoing with uh, discussions between CTP and the CNS Working Group, the Digital Engagement Committee, the Immunotherapeutics Committee, the GI Committee, and also various companies have shown interest in uh, discussing their pipeline with us, and hopefully uh, some of this work will be completed by the next group meeting to see if there are any others coming forward. Uh, next slide. But we do have our first preferred partnership that we uh, are very excited about. Um, SWAG CTP Novartis preferred partnership collaborative master agreement was signed and announced publicly in April. I don't think I could announce it for this open session, but shortly during, along the way in the virtual meeting in April, uh, this did become public. So we're very grateful and excited uh, to be uh, moving this along with Novartis. It will involve selected assets from their pipeline in platform, basket, or other trial designs, 
that might be disease specific or disease agnostic. It will involve solid tumors, hematology, immunotherapeutics, and early therapeutics in rare cancers. This is meant to be a durable collaboration over time. Uh, there will be multiple joint calls coming up, um, probably starting early in the new year uh, with various committee chairs and other SWAG scientific leaders, depending on the particular assets we'll be discussing. But we actually have two platform trials already in the joint design phase. Next week, the joint steering committee uh, of this collaboration will meet for the first time. So we are extremely thrilled. Um, and any of you from Novartis who may be on this call, thank you so much for, for the collaboration and we're all excited to move this forward. Next slide. So I show here just a little bit of some, another exciting project uh, from company X, uh, working with the Lung Committee that is definitely moving along very well. It's a platform trial in non-small cell lung cancer in patients whose tumors have typical EGFR mutations. The project design uh, is ctDNA-based decision-making uh, with several cohorts. Um, and the final design using two uh, major cohorts uh, with, with uh, two sub-cohorts uh, is under discussion with two agents um, uh, from this company. Um, a letter of collaboration intent has been received. A capsule has been jointly designed and is now being reviewed by our Statistical Center Protocol Review Committee and the industry partner. If you remember back to those purple boxes, we're moving along from the left now moving into the um, end of the first third of the collaboration process. Um, so this is going extremely well. Next slide. Here I, I, I was given permission to share the company, um, but not great detail, but we thank AstraZeneca for the excitement of working with them as well, uh, together with the Breast Committee for an, a different kind of platform study. Um, involving patients with metastatic ER positive HER2 negative breast cancer on first line standard of care aromatase inhibitor plus a CDK4-6 inhibitor. The project design uh, is a molecular match uh, design based on rising ctDNA. Uh, and patients are randomized to multiple parallel arms with an investigational agent and various combinations of endocrine therapy. And the the future intent to roll in other arms uh, using assets from AstraZeneca as they come uh, forward ready for this type of a design. We also have a signed letter of collaboration from AstraZeneca. We've already initiated recurring operations and scientific calls. Uh, and we've had joint proposal development. And the capsule for this as well, like the lung trial is under review now by Statistical Center PRC as well as AstraZeneca's um, uh, protocol review process um, uh, just underway uh, right this week. Uh, next slide. Then a very exciting project with our new head and neck uh, working group uh, is underway with Company Y. This is also a platform design. It is for patients with metastatic squamous cell of, head, of the head and neck and metastatic cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma. And the cohorts, various cohorts are defined by type of prior systemic therapies, as well as a cohort for first line therapy. Um, the project design is parallel phase three cohorts. And there are two agents, um, both um, proprietary right now in terms of their names uh, with the company but we do have a signed letter of collaboration intent and the capsule has been jointly designed and uh, is being, uh, or will be about to be reviewed by the Stat Center PRC and Company Y. Next slide. So the last in our active um, activities is with the GU uh, committee, the bladder group. Uh, and our partner is Genentech. 
The platform is a subtype driven uh, project for first line muscle invasive uh, disease in the neoadjuvant setting. There are parallel cohorts defined by molecular subtype. And here I am permitted to show you um, a good part of the schema in a second. But we do have the letter of collaboration intent received. And I know Casey and her group are also uh, working on drafts of a master agreement with Genentech. There are recurring operations and scientific calls, joint protocol, uh, de joint proposal development. In the capsule, um, uh, which is um, written in draft is pending submission, uh, awaiting a final decision on one of the drugs. Uh, next slide. So thank Dr. Uh, Josh Meeks. Uh, from the GU committee for sharing his slide, which has been vetted by Genentech to show you today. Um, I won't go through it in great detail. You have the eligibility criteria on the left and um, CT DNA and MRIs are the C's and the M's shown across uh, the timeline there. The tumor subtype uh, will be determined and then the patients assigned to either luminal papillary basal or non-luminal papillary non-basal groups uh, and randomized one-to-one -to, -one to the control arms for each of these groups, cohorts is neoadjuvant chemotherapy. And then in the luminal papillary, atezolizumab, um, checkpoint inhibitor of, of Genentex with a drug that we are still reviewing various um, exciting options and that's yet to be determined. In the basal group, uh, atezolizumab with the anti-TIGET antibody, tiragolumab, uh, will be randomized against uh, neoadjuvant chemo. And in the non-luminal, non-basal, it'll be atezolizumab plus chemo versus chemotherapy. Patients then go on to radical cystectomy with the primary endpoint uh, pathologic complete response for the phase two component of this trial. If successful, there will be a decision-making process to move this to phase three, but we're starting out with, um, of course, secondary endpoints of toxicity and safety and biomarker response. Next slide. So that completes a quick walk through our active collaborations. Um, we also have a SWAG CTP task force uh, intended to explore emerging opportunities with non-pharmaceutical interventions and tools. Um, we could uh, design standalone trials or combine uh, whatever intervention has come up with, uh, with therapeutic studies. Uh, several industry partners are interested and we've had conference calls with a few of them. A task force has been formed and the Digital Engagement Committee has been very active in this regard acknowledge Dr. Don Dizon's um, role in, in getting some of these ideas off the ground. Next slide. And then a very exciting, we have our website launched. Um, this is an older posting, but you can see the new one uh, live now for this group meeting as of today. Um, these are just some snips from the website. Next slide. This provides, and if you go on and click, you can see more of the detail that I've already presented to you this morning on what the preferred partnership program is, for example, if you're interested in that. Uh, there's a lot of information there. Next slide. And then um, instead of listing the names and acknowledging the leadership and staff uh, of the CTP, I just snipped some pictures from the website. So this is our um, leadership and staff team Casey and Crystal, I've already introduced to you. Also, Tamika Lewis and Chris Postol Postolka, who are both clinical trial budget analysts, and Edie Van Putten, uh, very critical to our team, who's a lead contract attorney. Next slide. Uh, and these uh, wonderful uh, colleagues uh, of mine join me on the executive committee for CTP, our group chair, Dr. Blanke. Nathan Erickson, our Chief of Administration, Casey, you've been introduced to, uh, Dr. Don Hirschman, who's SWAG's Vice Chair of our Community Oncology Research Program, 
uh, Joanna Horn, uh, Hope Foundation President and Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Lucky Lara, our Deputy Chair and Vice Chair for Operations, Dr. Michael LeBlanc, our Group Statistician, Dr. James Ray, SWAG's Executive Officer for Translational Medicine. Lots of TM work gonna be done on the, all of the CTP trials. And last but not least, Dana Sparks, um, our Director of Operations and Protocols. Next slide. And instead of a working group, because CTP is not a disease committee, I'm blessed to have a wonderful scientific advisory board, including all the individuals uh, shown on this slide and the members of the executive committee. Um, I just showed you uh, on the previous slide, uh, our ex officio members of this group. Uh, we will be meeting in closed session uh, tomorrow uh, and cover some of the issues um, that are proprietary and um, moving uh, the process forward. For example, we will tap from this, tap members from this group to serve on the executive review committee for CTP, as well as other experts. And this group will be involved uh, heavily in, in the pipeline discussions uh, as appropriate for the um, Novartis Preferred Partnership Program. Next slide. Last but not least, we invite you to get involved. Uh, we have an email address. You can feel free to email us with your interest, possible ideas and or industry contacts. And then of course our website, um, and there's also a page on there to contact us um, as well. Uh, before I go on to the last slide, uh, and Casey Dawson, do you have any comments or in particular about how the uh, Florence and Velos uh, platforms will be wonderful and, and not scary to use <laughs> for those. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks for the opportunity and thanks for everybody. Um, thanks for joining this morning. I you know, what, just wanna reiterate what Dr. Albain mentioned earlier about the streamlining of these programs and platforms. It's our intent to make um, everything as easy as possible for our sites, our staff, and our partners. And so we have done a lot of work carefully choosing these systems and are in the in process of implementing them and training on them. And so it is our hope that um, the integration of these systems talking with each other and the fact that sites will be utilizing the EDC, much like they do on the NCI trials, um, we'll keep things um, sim as simple as possible. So stay tuned for all of that and check into the website, the news page and other updates via email. I know um, we're working through what process um, you will be getting updates from CTP, but stay tuned and we'll make sure that um, we are reaching out as, as often as we can and as quickly as we can. Thank you, Casey. And not to put you on the spot, Crystal Miwa, do you have any comments or additions to the presentation from the operations and protocol management side to add. Well, thank you, Dr. Albine, for giving me a chance to speak. And thank you for everyone that has joined as well. Um, from the protocol operations perspective, you know, we are working to push these studies forward in a seamless manner. And so the for our investigators or anybody that's interested in doing a study, we're trying to keep our process is similar to what we already do now. And so um, we are working with the individual companies and their processes and what they have to do internally as well. And so it's a great collaboration and um, it's very fun to work with all of our collaborators on these, on these very interesting studies. So thank you. Thank you, Chris. Sorry to interrupt. One last thing I wanted to give Frank DeSanto and Morgan Cox, um, a shout out here. Oh, absolutely. The yeah. work on the website, they've done a remarkable job. So I hope you all are able to, to log in and check it out. Yeah, as we get more active uh, projects um, out there in public domain, we'll be um, uh, updating our, our website accordingly. Uh, right now, there's not too much in that regard in there, but certainly that will happen. Um, okay, uh, next slide. Last slide, and it's your time to ask us questions. So please use the chat 
Casey, have any come in while I was speaking? I don't have any showing up yet. Ah. We have 80 participants. That's great for all of you to have joined us. But please don't be shy. Everybody's hungry. We can't go out there to the nice little kiosks and out on the street here <laughs> <laughs> to visit our favorite haunts around the Hyatt on Michigan Avenue. It is still raining and cloudy, so. I am not seeing anything come in just yet. Um... Okay. Well, there's nothing wrong with the 30 minute meeting, right? And we all are busy and have a lot to do at the meeting. So Casey and Crystal, any reason not to um, call the meeting to a close here? No, I think that's the right call. And if anybody thinks of any um, questions or comments uh, after the fact, you know how to get in touch with us. <laughs> you did a great job of explaining and promoting the CTP, hence no questions from us. <laughs> That's Thanks, cute. Marta. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Uh, oh, now they're coming in. Lots of yous. Uh, they're thank yous, yeah. Well, we'll keep this up for just a few minutes, but we'll close the um, oral part of the program then. Hope you all have a great meeting. Thank you very much. Looking forward to your particip participation in SWAG CTP, um, both if you're from industry or from our group as, as investigators. We have exciting years ahead. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. You want to go ahead and close the meeting? We'll do five after. I'm sorry. You want to go ahead and call it at five after? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so our IMS folks can stop recording um, at about five after, and we'll just go ahead and close. There's still 19 people on. Hi, Frank. You're, thank you so much for getting everything done. Appreciate it. You're most welcome. Are we at 5 a.m.? Not quite. Okay. Lots of familiar names on, which is good. And some new. Casey, once we're off here, can I give you a quick call? Sure. Thanks. I think it's not quite five after. All right.
All right, why don't we close the meeting then, please? Thank you, IMS. Appreciate Thanks, it. Everybody.